Hey what's going on guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how we can create different kind of pricing plans using a pricing table and make a real purchasing system through this table on your website. Today we will see how we can redirect a user to your checkout page when they click the buy now button and make them real purchase through a payment gateway system like PayPal. If you have a physical or digital product or if you have a service and you want to sell them as a different pricing plans then you can follow the steps of this tutorial so let's see how we can do that so this is the pricing page of my website i have designed this pricing table using the elementor pro page builder so if you don't know how to create and design and customize this kind of pricing table you can follow my other tutorial where i show you how we can create this kind of table Okay, now what I want to do is when a user click on the buy now button, I want to redirect them to a checkout page and on this checkout page, they can buy the product of different pricing plans. So first of all, to make a checkout page, we need to install a plugin called WooCommerce. So I go to my dashboard and go to add new plugin and I search for the WooCommerce plugin. So let's install this plugin and I want to activate that. Okay, now let's set up the plugin with fill up with all the information in this form. Okay, then I select the currency as the US dollar and in this case, I want to sell only the digital product. Then click let's go. Okay, then click continue. And there is the payment option. There are different kind of payment option you can choose to offer to your users. So I choose the PayPal option right now. Okay, then I click continue button. And then it recommends you to install some additional plugins and themes but right now I don't need that so I click skip this step and I also don't need this step to install jetpack so I also skip this step. So after setting it successfully I go to my dashboard so I click this button visit dashboard right here. So we have installed our WooCommerce plugin successfully so our next step is to create three different products for our three different pricing plans right here okay so i go to this product section and add a new product from here so i write down my product name then i also want to add the name of the plan for this product which is basic so i created this product for my basic plan and i scroll down and you can see here is the option for setting the price for the product so i want to set up the price for this plan is 19.99 dollar so i write down 19.99 so we can sell both physical or digital product in this way but in this case i want to sell a digital product so i mark this as virtual product and also make this downloadable so after marking this as downloadable files you can see here is the options for uploading the files so i want to add a file right here and choose the file so i prepared this file for my basic plans so i upload this okay then insert the file url and i want to name this file as like this then you can set up the download limit for this file and also the expiry date for this file so as i want to make this pricing plan as an yearly pricing plan so i want to limit the download after one year so i write down 365 days so this is the number in days so basically this is a software and I want to frequently update this and the user can access to the latest version for only one year. So after one year they can download this file anymore. So after one year they have to renew their plan and after that they can also download this file again. So right now I want to save this product. Okay we have created our first product. Now I want to create another two product for another two pricing plans so I want to duplicate this product and in this case I want to change this title for the personal plan and also it is the URL I change the price to 49.49 dollar and also this file I want to upload my personal plans file right in this place okay then click insert url then i publish and following the same process i want to create the another one for the enterprise plan okay we have created three different products for our three different pricing plans now i want to visit to the product page for a plan 
so this is the product page for the enterprise plan and if i want to purchase it i have to click this add to cart button then i have to go to the cart page to see my cart what i added in this cart and if i want to go to the checkout page then i have to click this proceed to checkout button so you can see when a user want to purchase a product they have to first go to the shop page or a product page and from the product page they add the product to the cart and they redirect to the cart page and from the cart page they lastly go to the checkout page where they make their purchase but i don't want to make this flow so lengthy in this case what i want to do i want to redirect the user from this pricing page directly to the checkout page so to make this kind of custom flow we have to install an additional cart flow plugin so i go to the dashboard and go to add new plugin i search for cart flow so click the first one you can see the title is funnel builder by cart flows create high converting sales funnel for wordpress which is by cart flow company so i want to install that and want to activate this so after installing the plugin you can see here is the additional menu of cart flow i want to click on this so right now what i want to do to add three different checkout pages for my three different plans so when i click on the basic plan i go to the checkout page with this product added to this checkout page and when i click this button this also goes to my checkout page but in this case the professional plan added to this checkout page so to make different checkout pages for individual plan i go to this plugin options and here you can see here is the option for adding different checkout pages so i click add new and here is the pre-made template for your pages but in this case i want to start it from scratch so i click create your own and design your flow button so you can see i have actually created a new flow right here so a flow is basically the sequence of steps in user's journey so you can see in this flow first of all user goes to the sales landing page then go to the checkout page and go to the thank you page but you can reorder the flow by dragging them up or down and if you don't want this additional flow you can delete it from here I want to redirect the user from this pricing page to directly to this checkout page so I don't want another additional flow in this way so this is the step of checkout page so first of all I want to name out this flow okay then I click update so here you can see here is the edit button while you can design this checkout page from here I want to click this button we want to add this checkout page for our basic plan product so if we go to the select product here is an option to choose and product i want to choose the basic plan product from here i add this product to this checkout page and i want to name this checkout page as basic plan so this is the url of this specific checkout page you can edit the permalink from here okay then i click update so we have added this product for this checkout page now if you want to customize the checkout page we have to go to edit this page by clicking this edit with elementor button so i click edit with elementor so in this checkout page first of all i want to add this checkout form to add the checkout form if we again go to the edit page we can see here is a short code this short code is basically for the checkout form which you can add to the checkout page so i copy this short code and go to the edit with elementor and i search for the short code widget i drag it to this place and paste this short code in this place i click apply okay this short code is successfully added to our checkout page for this product so the another benefit of this plugin is you can customize your checkout page by adding another section before the form or after the form and you can also customize the look of this checkout form so in this case i want to add an additional header before the checkout form so i click add new section and i have designed a header before i want to insert that in this area okay i want to insert this section in this place so basically i added some badge right here so you can customize this section as you want if you want you can add some badges or if you want you can also add a testimonial area before this checkout form okay 
But here one thing you have to remind that you will go to the page settings and select the page layout as template for page builders and in this section you also choose the template as template for page builder. So by choosing this template you will make this section full width in this page. Ok now I want to customize this form a little bit. I want to change this color to matching of this color in my pricing page. So I click edit with Elementor. And then I want to copy this blue color from here. So I click edit pricing table and go to its style. And from here I go to this footer option. And in this footer option I set the button color to this blue color. So I copy this color code from here and go to my edit checkout page. And in this page you can see here is the option for designing the checkout form. So I click on that and I want to set the primary color from the form this blue color. So I paste the color code right here. And you can also change the layout of the form from here. If you have a pro version, you can choose other two layout from here. And lastly, I want to change the font family for this form. I want to make this as poppins. And there is also an additional options. If you want to edit the heading, the input fields or the buttons, you can also specifically change it from here. Okay. Then I click update and go to this page and also update this here and after this if i view this page from here you can see this checkout page looks far more better than the default woocommerce checkout page and here you can notice this is the url for this checkout page right now i want to change this part of the url right here so to change this i go to the dashboard and go to the cart flow settings and from here you can change it from this field. I want to make it to check out and then click save changes. So our checkout pages URL have changed right now. Okay, you can see this URL looks better than previous URL. So we have created this checkout page for our basic plan. So we can see in the order section, this product is for the basic plan and it's $19.99. So right now we want to link up this page with our buy now button of basic plans. So I copy this page URL from here. So I go to our edit pricing table pages and from here I go to edit on the first pricing table and in the footer section you can see here is an option for adding the URL for this button. So I paste the URL right here and I click update. So if I preview this page and then if I click this buy now button you can see this go to my checkout page for this basic plan product. So the next thing we want to do is to create another two checkout pages for another two plan in this table. To create another two checkout pages, we again go to the dashboard and in the cart flow option, go to the flows. And from here, I want to clone this flow one more time. I want to name this as professional to checkout and click update. Then I want to customize some sections for this checkout page. So I go to edit and in case of this checkout pages, I go to the select product and choose our professional plan product. So I remove this and choose our professional plan product. Okay, this and click update. Then I go to edit this page with Elementor. So right here I have to edit this heading. It, it's not a basic plan, it's a professional. So I write here professional plan. Okay, I click update. And following the same procedure, I want to create my another checkout page for enterprise plan. We have created three different checkout pages for our three different pricing plans. Okay, then if I go to view this page for professional checkout page, I want to copy this link. And in this case, for this button, I want to paste it right here. And for this buy now button, I want to add this page. So I view this page and copy the URL and insert the link right here. So I have used the Elementor page builder in this case. If you use another page builder, that's not a problem. This must have an option for the buy now button link. Just copy the link from this page and paste the link in the button URL options. Okay. Then I click update to save this page. So if I go to preview our page, now I want to choose a plan from here. I want to choose the enterprise plan. I click this buy now button 
and you can see I go to the checkout page for enterprise plan and this is the product added for the enterprise plan which is price $189.99 then a user have to fill up this form with all of their information so you may notice this form is already filled up with my information as I fill up this form before so the information is outfilled from the browser cache okay then if I click the continue to payment button this will not work so we have to first go to set up the paypal settings from the woocommerce option so again we go to the dashboard and go to the woocommerce settings from right here and go to the payment tab and from here you can choose different kind of payment method but in this case i want to select the paypal option so i check this out i don't want this option then i go to set up the paypal so right here you have to write down your paypal email address and this account has to be a business account for paypal so this email address i have used for my paypal so i write down it here and you can keep all the settings to default and right here at the bottom you can see here is an option of api credential so if you want to enable a refund system on your website you can set up this field so to fill up this field first of all you have to log into your paypal account so i log into my account and after logging to your account go to your account settings by clicking these options and in this section you can see here is the option for api access so you click this update link and from here choose this option which is nvp soap api integration i click this manage api credentials from here and click the agree and submit button then paypal gives you the api username api password and signature you can copy the information from here by clicking this show button and you can copy the information from here and paste this right at this place okay i have copied all the information from here and click the save changes button so now the paypal account is successfully connected with your website so if i go to the checkout page again and refresh this page so right now if i proceed with paypal you see this go to the paypal website and ask the user to log into their paypal account and make them purchase from the paypal website so after making a successful purchase your customer will redirect to a order receive page where they can download the product from here and they can also get access of this file in their email okay you can also handle the customer's orders from your order section under the WooCommerce menu. So you can see this order is automatically completed as the product in this order is a virtual and downloadable product. So I don't have to handle it. So it's automatically handled by the WooCommerce. But in case of physical product, you have to manually handle that. So for physical product, you have to go to the each order. And then from here you can collect the customer's address and after delivering your product you can manually mark this as completed and also for the service you can see here is an email address you can also contact your client through this email address and also manually check this as completed all right that's how you can connect your pricing plan page directly to your checkout page and you can sell your own product or service and receive real money from your customers so if this video helps you at least a little bit give this video a thumbs up i publish wordpress elementor and other themes plugins related videos every week so if you don't want to miss this out make sure to subscribe to this channel okay guys bye for now i will see you in the next video